Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be discussing reliable vintage trench and oil lighters. Let's get started with the Field L Trench Lighter by Douglas. Very unique in its stance and style, 2.75 inches in height, 0.8 inches width, and 0.61 inches thick, and about 45 grams or 1.26 ounces. This variant is a handcrafted polished aluminum with brass accent fittings. Most notably, the brass engraved flip top and engraved threaded cap found at the base of the tank. And this is where the fuel is replenished when needed. The tank is weatherproofed by the O-ring seals at the thread's end. With Douglas's ingenious design, the fuel cap contains yet another sealed cap that is used to store spare flint rods. In my experience, the field L lasts about four to five weeks before needing a refill. The same as if I had a Zippo or a Bic with me, using it multiple times per day. Depending on the variant or comprised metal, this piece costs as much as 9,000 yen or $85. Another one of my favorites, offered by Tokyo Pipe Co., also handcrafted in a brushed stainless steel, we have the J-Type Marvelous Lighter by Douglas, equipped with one set of large gears and one pair of small gears. And these are all working gears, used for ignition. Similar to a Zippo in shape, and in the fact that they are both oil lighters, this is where the similarities end. To ignite the flame, the user's thumb spins the first pair of larger gears, in turn actuating the smaller gears, which simultaneously unhinges the wick cover as the striker ignites the wick. This has to be one of the coolest lighters I've owned. There's the usual wick and cotton setup, but underneath that is a reserve tank that periodically soaks into the cotton, giving the marvelous lighter a six to eight week use time between refills. The Field L, on the other hand, has a metal bar that when pressed, retracts the flip top while simultaneously engaging the striker, resulting in a flame. Both Douglas lighters ignite with one fluid motion, and both models have wick covers that can be used to extinguish the flames. The marvelous J-Type lighter can be had for about 6,000 yen. This brings me to the most unique and rare oil lighter in the bunch, and this piece is called the Steampunk Penguin. Just like the Field L, this lighter is also weatherproof via O-rings. This bohemoth of a tank lasts for ages. The Penguin has the most moving parts out of the three. To use the lighter, you must crank the handle in the middle in a clockwise direction. This then spins the striker that is sandwiched between two steel tumblers that also spin in effect, unlatching and flinging the wick cover upwards and out of the flame's path. On the reverse side, there is a spring-loaded piston that pushes on the tumblers to complete its quarter rotation, ending in a flat position, in order for the wick cover to be reset back into its initial place which this is also spring-loaded. And I must say that these are my favorite three oil and trench lighters out of my collection that fire and ignite every time. The Field L for its classy and refined look with its two-tone, highly polished frame for those special dress occasions where you prefer something light in pocket. The Marvelous J-Type lighter is just a conversation piece all of its own. And in my experience, the working gears, it just blows Zippo lovers' minds to pieces and bits every time. And the Penguin, well, we'll just say it speaks for itself. It's rough, it's rugged, but I love it. And it's definitely the outdoorsy Coachella Festival type of lighter. The Penguin is also great for sending smoke ring signals to passing pilots up above. Man, I'm just messing around. What are your thoughts on the three lighters? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know which ones you like and what reasons you like it for.